Good morning. It's a new day, a new month, and something seems a little new in rules this morning, but uh, your uh, lovable, cuddly, grumpy chairman will be back soon, so don't, don't, uh, don't despair. Uh, we'll start this morning with a word of prayer, if y'all join me. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning with uh, thankful and joyful hearts. Uh, we appreciate all that you've done in our lives and the lives of the citizens we represent in this state and this nation. Uh, we ask you to continue to guide us and that our decisions will be in the best interest of those we represent and pleasing to you. Uh, please forgive us when we have our shortcomings, as we all do, and lead us in a direction that is, that is good for Georgia, good for our nation, and, and pleasing to you. I conclude this prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, Mr. Epps. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee members. Uh, I present to you today House Bill 695. It's uh, the first in the, uh, uh, the third down in the modified structure rules on your agenda. Simply stated, this is a special license plate honoring Georgia's working forest and the benefits they provide to Georgians. The funds raised from the sale of this plate uh, shall be dispersed and provided to the Georgia Forestry Federation, which will be used to enhance their educational purposes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any questions? No questions. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Watson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, bring before you today again uh, HB 571. It's uh, dealing with the magistrate's retirement fund, just making some changes there, updating it. Uh, it's revenue neutral, and um, I'd appreciate your support. Any questions for Mr. Watson? No questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What up, Mr. Tanner? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, come to and ask for HB 701. This is a simple measure that just updates the pre-employment drug testing policy for the state uh, to match what the federal government's done effective January 1st of this year, adding in the ability to test for synthetic opioids. I will say there's nothing in this legislation that would prohibit someone from getting a job. I ran over here, so I'm a little out of breath. but to get a job that has a prescription for medication. This is just making sure no one's abusing drugs illegally. Um, I will also say that there is a substitute uh, that's, uh, I believe, on your desk. Yes, this sir. Um, members should have uh, LC 297776S on your uh, desk, which is a substitute to House Bill 701. Um, <laughs> I'll say, Mr. Chairman, that that uh, substitutes the result of some conversations with the Attorney General's office. They just wanted to make sure that we had the correct language, and uh, as a result of that, it doesn't change the intent of the legislation, but it's just uh, with conversations with the Attorney General's office. Any members have questions of Mr. Tanner? No, we have no questions. Let's, um, at this point, let's act on the um, substitute uh, first. Is there a motion with regard to accepting the uh, substitute? A motion and a second. Any other discussion on the substitute? Hearing none, those in favor, please say aye. aye. Any opposed? And we'll adopt the substitute. Uh, and so therefore, when this bill makes it to the floor, that will be um, a rules adopted substitute for your consideration. Thank you, Mr. Thank Tanner. you. Mr. Wilkerson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Today I bring to you uh, House Bill 666. Well, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's under modified open rule, no jokes. I, I did do my research in every other session of bill with that number passes, so it did not pass last session, so I will leave that to the members of the committee, but um, yes. Uh, this bill basically fixes a problem that I did not know existed and that I, a lot of people I spoke to did not know existed. If you have a license plate frame on your car, uh, whether it be UGA, Georgia Tech, your sorority, your fraternity, those are currently illegal in the state of Georgia. 
Um, I received a call from a constituent who received a ticket, and apparently a numerous number of tickets in my hometown as well as across the state have been given out. So this bill basically is a common sense bipartisan bill that says as long as you can read the tag from left to right and read the expiration date, you're fine. If you are driving a boat with a trailer hitch, you are currently illegal. So I'm trying to help out uh, folks all across. My truck had one on it, so all across Georgia. So, um, but that's the bill. Any questions for Mr. Wilkerson? Mr. Fleming? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative, um, I'm, I'm just looking through the bill for the first time. Have you um, talked to our state patrol and our driver services people about this change? I've talked to local law enforcement. Um, they enforce the law because it's written that way. Um, so they said if the law is written that way, we'll enforce it. But I have not spoken to the state. Is that if that's something you want me to do, I could do. But, but basically, like I said, it would not stop. You would have to be able to readily identify the tag and be able to scan it and be able to read the expiration date. Yes. I guess my curiosity was if we're going to change the law on how we have to display tags, I would like the input from the people at our level that are going to have to be the ones to enforce this. I will do that today. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Knight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, to my friend, you had mentioned that uh, having a trailer hitch uh, on, I guess, a vehicle that could obstruct the view of a tag was also uh, an offense under current law? Correct. As I spoke to legislative counsel, they said there have been cases where the trailer hitch would block a part of the, the, the tag, you know, may, may not be able to see the county because you got it on the back. And so that would be currently illegal. But as long as you can read the tag under this bill and it's readily identifiable, it would make those uh, legal as you're heading out on a weekend and everything. So, yes. Thank you. No more questions. Thank you. Mr. Thank you, committee. Mr. Hilton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee. I bring to you House Bill 698 under modified structure. This is a specialty license plate benefiting the Georgia Tennis Foundation. Uh, I'd appreciate your favorable consideration. Any questions for Mr. Hilton? No questions. Thank you, sir. Mr. Kirby. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, under modified structure, the first bill, House Bill 365, uh, all this bill does is raise the death benefit for our sheriffs by $10,000. Uh, the actuary data is funded out of their retirement fund and is uh, fully uh, funded, so no additional appropriations will be needed. And with that, I'll answer any questions you might have. Any questions for Mr. Kirby? No questions. Thank, Thank you, Mr. You. Kirby. All right, we're going to set a calendar for Monday. This, is, this will be a calendar for Monday. House Bill 701. Got a move. We've got a move and a second. All in favor of House Bill 701 for Monday, please say aye. aye. Any opposed? So that will go to the floor as amended. Remember, the Rules Committee offered the amendment uh, this morning. And that's modified structure. And that'll be our calendar for Monday. Um, there may be, there may be uh, another meeting this afternoon. And we're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>